Hi, I'm Adam from dogproblems.com. We got a question from Jane on our private discussion forum at dogproblems.com. And Jane wanted to know, how do I get the that perfect attention when I'm healing with the dog? I demonstrated this in one of my other videos on dynamic movement. And she says that her dog pays attention to her, but really when she's just out for a walk, he's kind of half paying attention to her. Come on, sit. Half paying attention to her and half paying attention to whatever else is going on. Well, basically, this is the way it works. When we go for just a regular walk, I let the dog kind of half pay attention to me and half pay attention to what everything, uh, what, what else is going on. Because if we go for a long walk, it's unrealistic to think that the dog's going to be like this throughout the duration of the whole walk. But when I do uh, demand that the dog pays attention to me is uh, when we're around distractions. And I'm going to show you that in just a second where we're actually practicing uh, proofing the dog's attention around uh, a boxer puppy that's running around and playing around him. Now, in order to teach this, what I do is I start off by teaching the dog to sit, but sit means stay, but sit also means that he should be looking straight up at me when I give that, that formal sit command. So when we're, when, <laughs> you can come back up to me. When we're working, I'm gonna make him sit and, and focus right at, on me. So the way to do it is, initially when you teach it, you can start off with a little bit of food, and that's just to get the dog to understand what the command means. Once the dog shows me that he understands, I'm going to eliminate the food and just use the correction. I'm going to say, I'm going to give an upward correction. I'm going to say, sits, sits, good. And I'm going to come down from on top with the food. Good boy. And from there, once we've done some repetitions, I'm going to progress so that I can give an upward correction. Sits. And again, sits means, sit means sit, but, but it means sit with your head looking straight up at me. So that's what I want. Anytime he gets distracted, I'm going to give him a correction. So just sit, just like that. Three. And three. Sit. Good. So again, that sit. So as soon as his attention wanders, I'm going to give him the upwards correction. Now to really get that incredible focus and attention around any kind of distraction, sit. You want to use the, the e-collar. The e-collar that I'm using in this video is the uh, sport dog trainer uh, sit means sit collar, which you can get from any of your, your local sit means sit franchises. Um, any e collar will actually work, but that's the one I use. I like, I like it. It's a good collar. Um, the texture of the correction kind of breaks through and interrupts the dog's attention a little bit better than just simply using the pinch collar does. Now, you start off teaching that perfect, perfect attention with the sit stay, but then you'll progress it into the heel, okay, by just simply taking one step and then reiterating sit reiterating the sit command and bringing the dog's heel up to you. So watch how I demonstrate working around distractions with our golden retriever.